Hi, and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. In this session, we'll be talking about how to create a QuickBooks estimate from Construction Suite. Once you have created your Construction Suite estimate and walked through the QuickBooks initial setup located on our QuickBooks integration tab on the far left, you are then ready to begin sending information to QuickBooks. The first thing you're going to want to do is to go ahead and create your QuickBooks estimate. That can be done by clicking on the Create QuickBooks Estimate icon here on the QuickBooks integration tab. When you click that icon, you will get a few options as far as how you want to send that estimate over to QuickBooks. The first one is going to be the level of detail, which you have two options for, the project totals only or the entire workbook. The project totals only will only create line items in the estimate for the category and subcategory levels on your construction suite estimate. The entire workbook will populate your QuickBooks estimate with category, subcategory, and line item level of detail from your construction suite estimate. Now, depending on how you chose your settings in the QuickBooks initial setup, you may not have the ability to select the entire workbook option here. If you would like to send line item level of detail over on your QuickBooks estimate, return to your QuickBooks initial setup and make sure that on the item setup page, you do choose to use items and then choose to create an item for every category, subcategory, and line item within your construction suite estimate. Once you've chosen your level of detail, you will then see that the customer job can be selected below here. If you click the drop down, you will see the customer job options for the client and project name that you are currently in and in this case we will select the main job typically this will automatically be populated for you based on as I mentioned the client and project name you have within construction suite you will then choose your markup options whether or not you would like to include company overhead margin in your QuickBooks estimate and if so whether you would like to have that prorated into each line item or allowance or listed as separate line items in the QuickBooks estimate Next, you'll choose whether or not you would like to have line item markups and taxes included in your QuickBooks estimate. And once you've chosen those options, you can select OK. This will begin creating your QuickBooks estimate within QuickBooks. Construction Suite will create five things within QuickBooks when we integrate. It will create the customer in QuickBooks based on your client in Construction Suite. It will create the job in QuickBooks underneath that customer based on your project name in Construction Suite. It will, of course, create the QuickBooks estimate within that customer job. And then it will populate your chart of accounts and items list based on the settings you chose in your QuickBooks initial setup. Now that our estimate has been created, I will show you exactly what this will look like. Our estimate has been populated again based on the settings we chose in our QuickBooks initial setup. I chose to use a parent item labeled UDA item list, which is then shown as the first level of detail here. And then our category and subcategory, and in some cases, category, subcategory, and line item if you choose to send the entire workbook. It will populate your quantities, your costs, total those up, and then give you the estimate total at the bottom. You can save and close your estimate. It'll take you back to the customer center. You can see here that it has created our customer from the client in Construction Suite and the job based on the project name in Construction Suite. And within this customer job is our estimate that we just saw. Now, if you already have the customer and job present within QuickBooks, it will simply create the estimate for that customer job when you try to integrate, provided that they do match up exactly. If you have the customer but not the job, Construction Suite will create the job for you and then place the estimate within that job. And as you see here, if we did not have either one of those, it will create both the customer and the job and then place the estimate within there. If we take a look at our lists, we can see our chart of accounts. And my preference was to use a UDA accounts parent account, and then you can see our accounts list was populated based on the level of detail we chose in our QuickBooks initial setup. Same with our item list. I chose a UDA item list parent item with all of my UDA items underneath it. The types of both your accounts and your items will be chosen in the QuickBooks initial setup as well. So as I mentioned, the customer, job, QuickBooks estimate, chart of accounts, and items list have all been populated. And that estimate is available in your customer center. Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk.